a little bit of a late night here with uh, Bat Jack, and uh, we're going to actually go over some stuff. And I'm actually going to cover a little bit of a, I guess you could say a little bit of a hack or a fix, if you would, uh, in case you run into the, one of these little issues. So uh, that's, I got actually a couple of packages here. I uh, ordered some stuff, so they came in. So let's, we'll go ahead and check that out. But one of the things uh, we're going to cover is if you're a fan of the old uh, 1911, like me, I, you know that uh, a lot of the uh, old style ones that I love, the front sights are um, staked, I guess they call them, or swedged. I don't know. Um, basically what they've done is they, on the other side of the, uh, the slide there, the, there's a hole right through the slide. And it's pretty much peened in place and they basically just smash the metal and it kind of expands on itself and it holds up. For the most part, it holds up. Um, I have this Colt here and this front sight is held up very well. And I've shot this a bunch. Uh, it's my, one of my, uh, that's a one I've had for quite some time. So uh, here, I've a, this is a Colt uh, pre-70 pre series slide here. And uh, this, this front sight actually came loose on me. So, actually almost looks a little off, but anyway, the way to fix it, uh, you could get the sight uh, staking tool and repaint it yourself go through all that. Um, I've had this happen in the past on something and I, I fixed it with doing this uh, and it's actually held up really well. Uh, so far I've fixed two doing this and what I've wound up did, well what I wound up doing is um, using thread locker uh, like a red Loctite or something and it works really well. Now upon, and I've done two other guns like that. Uh, I had a, uh, an old GI styled one that the front sight uh, came up and it was really loose. And then there was a Springfield Armory uh, mil spec, whatever, it's just some fancy way of saying that it's a military styled one. But it, the, the sight was, uh, you know, same thing, it came loose. And I actually fixed both those and they're still running strong today. So, but upon uh, looking around on the, um, internet and stuff I found that there's actually a different other product that you could get that's pretty darn tough so we're gonna go ahead and try it uh, this one already actually has been set pretty good with uh, red Loctite but we're gonna add a little bit of security to it so let's go ahead and see what we have in here and I actually heard that this stuff is um, quite uh, quite hard to find and I guess automotive You'll find it in like automotive places, uh, Napa and stuff like that was places that you could find it. Reading up that some people were like using it to literally put back together like parts of the engine and stuff. So it must be pretty darn good stuff. All right, so it come, there it is. I literally just got this delivered. So I'll turn on the camera and started doing this. What I have is Loctite 620 retaining compound is what it's actually called so um, this one actually does I, I remember some people were I don't know skeptical on the, uh, the expiration all that this one actually does say used by 1021 so it does actually have the date on it so it's sealed it's completely sealed I guess you just gotta cut the uh, top of that off Do that. All right. Did I do it? Did I cut it enough? Oh. Oh. The little top kind of came off there. Maybe we can just. Maybe we can just instead. Well, you're learning with me here. Instead of cutting it open, maybe we'll just use a uh, like a little dabber thing and get it there. Because we don't need a whole lot of it. So, all right, get right in there and I'm just gonna place it 
uh, the, uh, it's really thick. I can tell you that right now. The stuff is like uh, like honey or something like that going on there. So I got a pretty good dab of it there. And just for sake of it, we'll go ahead and uh, put it around the site just so that we have that extra insurance that it doesn't come off. This stuff is not cheap, by the way. But everything I've read about it, everybody swears by it. So my thought on it is, I mean, heck, if this stuff is holding engine parts and stuff together, it ought to hold the front sight in. Again, these are like staked in, so that's that's the that's what we're working with here. All right, so there's that. I'll let that set up and do its thing. We'll go ahead and uh, re recap that. I think that will seal it up pretty good, so that I won't have to you know worry about it um, doing anything. But they're interesting. Uh, gosh, man. I mean, this stuff is literally called retaining compound, Loctite 620. Again, not cheap, but we'll see. Everything I've read, everybody says you should have a, you should have some of this stuff laying around. <laughs> so, all right. Let's get on with it. Where's the other package? My gosh, got so much stuff here. We've got another thing here. This one actually came from Brownells. This one actually took a while. I ordered this on Christmas. I just finally got it now. Um, not that I was like in dire need to get the thing or anything like that, but where's in it was a while ago. So Alright, what do we have? We have Wilson Combat Shock Buffs. Yeah. These are those little little pieces of plastic, very expensive pieces of plastic. Uh you would think for the money you would get a whole bunch of them, but no. Nope, there they are. I wonder how much different it is, because I got one on this one right here. I've always had a bunch of these laying around. Let's scoop one of these off here, because I'm curious as if I have the same I have the same ones because I order these as a backup. Always have them. You can actually see where they've actually um, the indention that it's leaving on the old one. All right, let's take a look at it. Yep, it's the same thing. It says Shock Buff Wilson. Same stuff right there. So we'll keep the old one because it seems to be working fine. But, uh, you know, not a bad idea to throw these on your 1911 if you're going to be using it quite a bit like I do. I shoot it. Now, one of the things I, some of the things I do to my 1911s is uh, I run a 20-pound recoil spring. And, uh, of course, now the shock buffs, I'm kind of running that as a normal thing now because uh, I figure to do as much as you can. This is not very expensive to do. Uh, do as much as you can to save and prolong the life of your beloved, you know, 45, be it whatever, uh, auto ordnance, inland, Colt, whatever, Springfield, Rock Island Armory, um, you know, just, it's a good tool and keep it running, uh, I think, and this helps it. I, I've actually noticed, though, uh, over time of shooting these things, and back when I was more of a greenhorn with it. I still am, but um, I can't believe just how much like a, a weak spring or something like that would uh, put the thing through so much abuse, unnecessary abuse. So that's what I got. That's my setup there. And I just got those in and you know, I just wanted to check out that stuff there. So Loctite 620 and it, literally everything I've read on it, it just seems to be just phenomenal stuff. 
so I haven't read one bad thing up on it. So that's sitting right where I put it on here too. It really is. We'll put another dab right here in the front of the site. Just for giggles. Just so that we can really uh, make sure we got it fully secured here. And this, they, uh, I read it takes about 24 hours uh, for this stuff to fully uh, do its thing. There we go. Just put a, a dab right there in the front, in front of it. Uh, this stuff is supposed to be pretty high temperature, high temperature stuff. So. Make sure that lid got back on there good and tight. I wonder what this is. Um, safety measures. Use only in well ventilated areas. A little movie studio here. <laughs> We're ventilated. Avoid uh, eyes and skin contact. This is all the stuff that, you know, uh, extinguishing media. Uh, foam, dry chemical, or Carbon dioxide, they're just telling you, I guess, is this flammable? Uh, contact supplier, manufacturer, MSDS. Uh, Loctite Corporation, Hinkle. I guess it's the right stuff. I mean, I guess it's all correct. You know, I don't think that they, you know, dyed some honey green and slapped a label on there and sold it to me. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, yeah. There you have it, most part, hanging out, doing this stuff, checking it all out, clean up some of my stuff. Might be something new coming around. Might have to show you guys something new soon. We'll see. Got some projects on the back burner. Got some stuff we're working on. Some, some pretty cool new stuff. Um, some things that I'm checking out for myself before I even uh, render, I guess, my opinion out there first, so. Yeah, there you go. How about that? A Colt match grade barrel, stainless steel. Been throated too by Colt. They ought to know what they're doing. It's Colt. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you next time. Thanks for hanging out tonight.